Hey there, Prairie Point Girl here. I'm over at my uh, brassica bed again. So this is where I have my cabbage and cauliflower and broccoli. And I'm gonna do a little bit of harvesting. So I thought I'd bring you along for that. I have a cabbage I had shown you in a previous video and I still haven't picked it. And it's really nice and hard, hard and firm now. So I'm gonna pop that out. I'm gonna use a few leaves for a cabbage roll casserole. And then I think since I'm going to be heading out of town again right away here, I'll probably just pop it, the rest of the head, in the freezer and I'll use it to make actual cabbage rolls if it looks as good as I, I think it's going to look. I'll, that's what I think I'll do with it. Um, and then it looks like I have some more broccoli sprouts ready and a cauliflower that I want to get picked and blanched before I head out of town. So, us. So, so I thought I'd bring you along, show you what I'm harvesting, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do this morning. Come on in a little closer and have a look at this cabbage. Here's this beautiful head of cabbage. I just love the look of cabbage. I don't know why, I just find them so pretty. But we're gonna pull this out. So I'm just gonna dig down here a little bit, try and get underneath, and I'm just gonna cut it off. That's a gorgeous head of cabbage. It's nice and firm. Uh, I finally found the tag by it, so I can know for sure that this is a stone head. I'm not sure what I wrote in my last uh, video, just kind of gauging it off my little map that I have in the garden. I think that's what I had figured it was gonna be. It is so firm, I cannot push into it at all. It's a gorgeous cabbage. It's kind of a flatter head, so really nice. Put that in my basket. There was a windfall apple laying on the netting when I came out here, so it's also in my basket. Those will get picked very soon here. So now I just have some little broccoli spears. Pull out of here. Spears, I don't know, shoots, offshoots. These aren't the main heads. I took the main head, I think in the last video. And these are just the little side shoots that come. There's lots on this one. side shoots off of one head of broccoli or one broccoli plant so I'd cut the main head which is about this big maybe a bit bigger uh, a week or so ago there's cabbage moth here. Go, go. Um, so I cut the the main head uh, like a week or maybe a week and a half ago and now I have all these side shoots and there's actually a few more still on that one plant that will mature and occasionally I'll get a few more oh, cabbage moths so I need to get to this job because the cabbage moths are going crazy because I have the netting open. It doesn't take them long. So I put these in my basket and then I gotta get the rest of this stuff harvested and get that net closed back up. Out, get out. So here's another plant. I think I had taken some side shoots off of it before as well and there's just a few more that I had left mature. One of my viewers suggested broccoli soup and I don't think about making soup a lot in the summer but I'll definitely be saving and when I freeze I'll make sure that some of the stems go so I can get some soup going because that's a great idea. We love broccoli soup. Oh, 
not sure if this one's going to produce any more little side shoots for me, but I think I'll leave it for now. Interesting mushroom growing down there. That looks like it for, for broccoli right now. So we'll close this side up and go to the cauliflower. What are you harvesting in your garden these days? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, I don't know. I was going to take this because we're going out of town. But I actually think it could wait another week. So oh, maybe you can't see it. There. You see that? So yeah, I think this could go a bit longer. So I'm going to leave it. And, uh, and we'll come back for it when I get back from my trip. It's, yeah, it definitely, I mean, it's just slightly bigger than my fist, so I think it could go longer and it's super, super tight still. So I'm just, I'm gonna actually get a, a clip and pin it closed like this, because this one doesn't seem to be wrapping as tight as the other one did, even though I think they're both Minuteman. Um, and that should help to keep it protected from the sun while I'm gone. Okay, so I just got one of these big clips. I just, you can get these at the dollar store, so. They work well for this. I'm just going to pull the, the leaves up over the head. Just clip this around. So that's a pretty good little harvest there. Beautiful cabbage. Lots of uh, side shoots from some broccoli. I have a little bit of work to do in the kitchen today and get that ready so I feel confident just leaving that bed while I go away and not worrying about any food going to waste in my garden. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.